Hey everybody, it's time for another episode of the Chicago 60 Podcast. We have a great episode for you tonight. Tonight we are talking about fitness and fitness and everything that is fitness and also the city versus the burbs. What is the difference? Which one is better? We shall find out because we have an expert here. That's an easy one. Of course. <laughs> and we also have a new CTA project underway that is happening sometime in the near future. So we will talk about that. <laughs> and then also the jack off of the week. And it's amazing time because we have another special guest on the podcast, which I will get to in just one second. But lady and gentlemen, it is now time for... Ladies, ladies night. night. Ladies night. Ladies night. And <laughs> on the podcast. Uh, cheers to the podcast. That's right, y'all. Cheers. cheers. Thanks cheers. for having Welcome me, Justin. Thanks Thank for having you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. All right. Well, um, as uh, the the lovely lady here Ooh, mentioned, I like that one. You like that? I do. Yes, it is. It is ladies' night because because <laughs> Lauren Gaspar is our first lady on the podcast. <laughs> get ready, get ready. You know, I think ladies' night should just be an every Monday night thing now. I'm okay with all having ladies all the time on ladies the podcast. Night. I'm totally fine. I mean, what's better but than ladies' night? I Not can much. Think of a few things. <laughs> 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 Um, but yeah, no, it's good. It's good to have you. So <laughs> let's, uh, all right, let's introduce who the fuck you are. So, uh, Tell ladies and gentlemen of the Chicago 60 podcast, um, we have here Lauren Gaspar, Lauren Gaspar, and she is a very good friend of mine. Uh, we used to work together at Leol COTG, <laughs> the cot G. It was like Old a cot. copier with, industry. With, that's right. It was, it, you laid on a cot and there was a, there was a G there, <laughs> but you weren't sure if he was an OG or, or the G you wanted to get rid of. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's how it was there. But, uh, Lauren is an amazingly cool person and, uh, she and I would, uh, frequently, uh, just take off work <laughs> with our friend yeah. Britt and just, and just go hang out at the Renaissance Hotel Lots across the street. Lunch dates, you know. Uh, yeah, I just like blow off two, three hours drinking, complaining about our jobs. And really? Then, uh, yeah. Probably what most people do, though. Most you people know? do. I do that think shit most people, time. yeah. Hell yeah. You have to to stay sane. If you want to, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, the main thing is that, uh, so Laura and I were doing that, but we were talking and we were always like, hey, you know, I want to start my own show, and Lauren would be like, oh, I want to start my own, I want to get into fitness, I want to yeah. start my own fitness thing. And look at and y'all. And now we're doing that. And look Crazy. at that, people. Isn't Crazy. that amazing? If you wow. actually talk about doing something, and you can actually do it. You can it. talk about it, and then, like, you do that, then it happens. That's yeah. So <laughs> there's a thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so fucking, that's the thing. So that's that's Lauren. She's an amazingly cool person. She's a hard worker. Thanks, she started Justin. her own company three one two foods no, what is we, it? Three, we one. changed it you which cha- is oh, you really fuck? funny what? well this is why when i first walked in the door and i told justin you got to stick your hand in multiple cookie jars true and you see did say which that cookie i'm glad you sits. finished that sentence because i was gonna get weird <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stick your hand in but yeah so cookie when, jars. When make we, sure you <laughs> say the right thing lauren <laughs> I know I gotta Holy wash myself. I did ask Justin right. if I could swear, which was okay. Yes, you so can totally you know swear. if I do, whoopsies. You can swear. Um, mom, dad, don't be don't be mad at me. Um, but yeah, I basically wanted. I just wasn't happy, and I know Justin. I was like, God, I love fitness. I want to get back in it. I had a lot stopping me. Honestly, Gary Vaynerchuk, if y'all follow Gary him, Gary B. Yeah, we know. He we pushed know. me. Over the edge to yeah. just do it, and that was the thing. It's like all you Did gotta do is take that. Physically push you, or were you? If you physically no. met Gary V, that's pretty dope. I, mean, I, w- I, I would w- like a I, physical push. I yeah. wish. Yeah. But no, like just at the time in my life, what he was saying, I needed to hear that from someone because my you, friends weren't saying it to me. My can you remember what it, it was that he was saying that you that? I can't you, remember, you but it was something was like it? you know a lot of things like well, what do you have to lose? Also, I'm not 45 or 50, you that know, which, which does help, right? So True. I can I can build up. And my thing is, you go into sales, you take a year off, something doesn't work, you can always get back in it, right? That is like sales true. is the sort of thing that you could go back to and you're like, I know how to do this. True. Hey, if you can sell a Xerox copier. You can sell anything. You can sell, you can sell 
anything. Yeah. That's I mean that's what they anything. told me. Anything. When I was originally <laughs> looking at sales jobs, that's what they, that's what they fucking told me. I could sell they ice told, to an Eskimo. They told you that that's they right. said if you sold a Xerox copy, you can sell anything. Uh, that's in in so many words. <laughs> that is yeah. what the recruiter told me. Yeah. Dude, like, oh, the, 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 oh, you're gonna get in the sales. Wait. Oh, you gotta start a copy of sales because <laughs> then they're gonna love your resume. The, <laughs> the, 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 the like, recruiter what? the recruiter sold you on selling, huh? He, he sold me yeah, on selling. <laughs> Luckily, I was already the in the market for sales. I know, right? You're like, yeah, man, just go ahead and just get me lined up. I'll uh, knock it down. And dunked. So, um, yeah. So that's a that's a thing that happened. And now you're you got your own. So what's the what's the rebrand now? So we can talk right. Shit. So originally it was fitness, and I was thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna start my own fitness studio. I'm gonna be like the one off fitness studio that nobody else you know is doing this sort of workout. Mm -hmm. Well, then I got into thinking, and the whole reason that my new business came up, Simple Staples, mm -hmm. no joke, I had a guy come up to me in the gym, mm -hmm. Garrett, if you're watching, and um, I had posted something on my on my building. Uh, I live in a high-rise building. I said, okay, nutrition and um, training program. So this guy messages me, and he's like, yeah, can I get a nutrition program? I was like, sweet. This is like my first customer. Awesome. Nice. Well, I gave it to him, and he goes, uh, yo, can you actually like cook all the food for me? Ooh. I was like, I can't, I don't even have time to cook my own food. Like right. number one, I'm not your mom. You number your two, number two. Hey, he was giving you a jewel right there. <laughs> he was, he gave you a jewel. Yeah. I'm number two. Do you know how much a private chef costs? Cause you know, right. Gotta pay Get the big moolah. bucks. Get that moolah. Uh, this guy pestered me for like three months and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do it just to see. And I enjoy cooking, Justin, these fruit Excuse flies. Excuse our so. fruit flies, I know, everybody. and they're after my beer. Yeah, um, I don't know where they came from. But it was crazy, so I cooked for him once, and then it literally blew up from him. Like, that was it. It just took him, that one person, to, like, push me over the edge to make this food. And then I was like, dude, organic, simple staples. My sister's husband was like, these are the staples that you need in your fridge every week to stay healthy. And I was going to ask you what – what made you come up with the name Simple Staples? Yeah. So it's like your staples. You want chicken. You want ground beef. You know, you want uh, pulled pork or something like that. It's very simple. I don't do the sauces and the bougie and the fancy. You bring your own sauces. Uh, exactly. You want to you 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 douse you that food. thing in ranch? Yeah. Dou douse do it, it in ranch. Do it. I like mean, like that's my like thing. Some halal guy sauce. Do you have their hot but sauce? But like clip? in our in our culture today, though, <laughs> yeah. people want to make decisions. Right. They want their own customized thing. Like you want customized everything. People want to have control over what they do. Well, now you have control to pick exactly what you want in your meal. Right. Not many companies are doing that. No. So that's basically Dude. how it started, and then it just blew up, and then. If I could be the next plater, the you know next Blue Apron, that's my goal. So oh, wow, there you yeah, go. The next we'll Blue see what happens. You Chicago know, when y'all see me, yeah, you know, right. Right. on Shark Tank or something like oh, that. Shit. <laughs> hey, you gotta make sure you shout us out. You make it a Shark Tank. Yeah, yeah. I'll pull up this you know podcast. That's right, go. yeah, <laughs> like, guys. I was on the Chicago Sixty podcast, so they like, yeah, fuck those it. guys. Yeah. Go ahead and tell us. You got like yeah. five minutes. I'm sorry, the what? <laughs> who? <laughs> the who? <laughs> you mr wonderful we're, no we're, shit yeah, yeah mr awesome. wonderful for real um nice all right well there you go there's the background the sitch, story yeah the background story on that okay cool so yeah so it, it would be safe to say that you know things about diets food and fitness yeah okay good or or just health health great general health health, health and wellness health. I believe, around that you know I that's good that is a category of that is company yeah that, uh, people will say uh well good because that's what we're going to talk about because that's a good thing that you're here because that was the whole <laughs> we need some well, that health worked out really well yeah. really it well it worked out superbly i did superbly splendidly Perfect. and swimmingly um okay so uh let's uh let's get into this then so um i i do fitness I fit with the miss, and um, I know Ron. Seriously, you guys, Justin's got a pull-up bar on his uh, door right over here. That's I actually true. walked in. I was like, "Wow, this guy must be, you know, doing like hundreds um, of pull-ups a day." Underneath this T-shirt, he's gonna just whip out that like B90X. I'm gonna see that DVD. Is it over there? Do dude, I see it over there? Hey, Justin gonna be like super shredded in like two weeks. I bet. Just watch. 
wow, that's well. How much? So that means you got. You, you, <laughs> that means you got like a thousand pull-ups to do when I leave today. You know, that's, though, guys do burn more epic. calories than girls, so that got is, a little bit easy true. there. So yeah. need them, need them calories. Need them calories. <laughs> we gotta get them calories. Burn mm, them those calories. Delicious. Those mm. delicious. Get, get the no, protein so or, don't, I mean, or the vegan, whatever you do. I don't know. Justin, I'm throwing this back on you. So yeah, all of yeah. a sudden you just decide randomly that you want to get into fitness or that what? You just want to feel better. Why are you doing this? That's uh, a good question. I, it's, it's a health thing for me. Yeah. What, mean, what, what does that but, mean? And also, you know, if I were to take off my shirt, it, w- it would be nice if you're like, <gasps> oh, that's always a good reaction, but I'm ladies, not doing it for that. Ladies I'm not doing night. It for that. Ladies <laughs> night. Oh my girl. Oh my girl. He's hot. H A W T. No, I do it for. I'm doing mostly for health, and just because. Well, I mean, as Ron knows, because Ron is an actor, as as am I. Um, you know, it it does help to have a physique that when you. Mm. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Hey, um, this role requires <laughs> you to have your shirt off. Do you have a problem with that? Um, uh, um, uh, um, no. no. Do you like pasty white boys that look like they're 12? <laughs> That's what I have going on. Uh, so I'm trying to avoid that <laughs> awkward scenario. He trying to look, he, yeah. he, he want to look nice, but take that shirt look, off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which is what, right I mean, I, I do nude scenes and, you know, if I'm all bleh, Right? But not only that, but right. I mean, you know, people also have that. They just want to look in the mirror and be like, damn, I look good and I feel good. That's true. And yeah. when you do that, what else changes? Everything. You sell more copiers. That's right. That's right. If you're selling, you copiers, do. You can sell more. Copiers. Yeah. You feel better about yourself. A hundred percent. I think fitness is important to everybody. It is a little fatty. It could become real fatty, you know, especially oh, yeah. the CrossFit, yeah, and the different times high of the year. Oil training. Um, I started working out. I used to be the the. I was a skinny guy in my crew, and I got tired of everybody like, "Damn, dude, when you go start putting some weight up?" So once I started doing that, I started liking how I fit and my clothes even better. That was why I did it, and everything else just came along with the with the territory. But <laughs> I liked it for myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fitness should be for yourself. I yeah. totally Fitness agree. For yourself. Well, it was funny because when I was. The l- <laughs> it's all. It's the f- all the F. <laughs> Fitness for yourself. But it was funny. Fitness I was talking yourself. to one of my friends today, and it's funny. Once you get into a routine of doing fitness, whatever it may be, you start to feel good, right? And when you yeah, yes. start to take that away, because your body produces all these endorphins and yes. things like that that make you feel better. Facts. So when you stop working out, you're like, Oh my God. Like I was talking to my friend today, I go, I'm that person after three days of not working out, I'm honking at people, I'm flipping people off, I'm driving like aggressively because I haven't gotten my fitness in. Uh, but if I get my workout in, I'm cool as a cucumber. Right. So that's like another thing. It's a, it's a release, Stress, it's a de stressor. De-stressor. There's something about fitness that makes you feel good. And also, fitness is pretty community based too, if you want it to be. That's some true. people like to work out on their own. Some people work out. I was telling Justin, I do work at Orange Theory, and it's like a dance party. You get like lit for an hour. We got the music blasting, the strobe lights going. People like come in for that sense of like, you know, community and dance party, and I'm going to sweat, I'm going to feel good, and it does. What made you choose um, Orange Theory as Great a place question. to go and train? So... Wow, my entire family had actually gone, including my dad and my mom. Your mom and dad. Wow. Oh, yeah. And my mom <laughs> doesn't work out. <laughs> um, and so it was Shout a, out to mom that don't work she's out. She's probably watching this, actually. It was a workout that everybody could do. So whether you're 80 or whether you're 12, it was all broken down. So every age, every gender, every person could do finish this workout and feel good about themselves. So even if you got all these different people with different, I guess, levels of fitness, fitness, they can all still work out together and still get a solid workout in. Yeah. Because, you know, you got your... Your, your, your people that go all the time, they feel like they own all the weight. Like they oh, my God, yeah. The, the guys that are, like, lifting, like, 100 pounds yeah. are like, oh, you guys think heavier than that? Yeah. 
those guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can still, even if, if, if a person is at a higher level working out, they can all still kind of work out. Because I've done a little research to yeah. fully understand, like, why people would choose Orange Theory versus, I don't know, CrossFit or A thousand or percent. Fucking CrossFit. Oh, God. Dude, Dude and that's it. Yeah. CrossFit Yikes. and talk about I already fads. know. I already know. But <laughs> that was... <laughs> I feel like the CrossFit definitely was like when that came that on the cult. scene, everybody was just like, "Oh, I'm doing CrossFit. Forget it. Oh, no, I'm doing CrossFit." But then it, you tear yeah, up, you tearing so things themselves. up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they have CrossFit competitions, which There's then like also their own CrossFit games, and it's like beyond the level of anything anybody is ever supposed to do ever. But what it the is fuck is this? competition is a good thing, though. I will say. Good. So this thing with Orange Theory, as mm, yes. People say it's a not, you know, it's not competitive. Okay. You best believe if I'm in between the both of you on a treadmill, you better believe I'm be checking out your speed and being like, mm, I got to be like, I do that now. faster than Ron right now. Like, it's just like a thing, but it actually makes you work harder in a weird way without mm-hmm. someone yelling at you to work harder. I do that when I'm on a treadmill. You see some and girl somebody, over there. It could be a like, girl. It can be a dude. I feel if someone's running fast, and I'm looking to see what they're doing, and I'm increasing. It, it's yeah. like it's just one of those things. Yeah, I can't help it. Yeah, yeah like it's a competitive nature. I feel yes. like we always have this sort of like we all have a competitive thing. I mean, think about sales. I mean, I remember running on the treadmill and being <laughs> like, "What speed is this person running next to me? <laughs> they're on a level six. Oh, I'm on eight. <laughs> you're like, I'm running so much harder. <laughs> <laughs> What, so a, what a jerk. So what much a harder. Jerk I am. But I it is. It's uh, funny. And it it, you know what? It could also be a fad. Like, that's my thing. Like, we were talking about this earlier, and I've had multiple people, and this is the craziest thing. In the past three, four months, I'm not kidding you, I've probably had 15 people come up to me random that I don't even know and have just given me information or told me to listen to a podcast, read a book, read, read some research about people who live the longest and so of course i'm like okay podcast i can listen to that it's easy right i'm like doing the dishes yes, i is. got my podcast in it's so easy you know? to listen to a podcast and it really is these yeah. people that are living the longest in these different countries they do not do high intensity interval training they do not weight lift they do not do crossfit you will not find a crossfit in italy you know or yeah. any maybe one two whatever but this research is going to show that all you need to do, walk, eat healthy, you know, be an active, live an active lifestyle. You walk places, but you don't need to be crushing your body. You know, my thing is Americans, we like overdo everything. We go out and eat. We got to have the what? biggest. We got to have what the deep dish. The, we overdo things? The deep dish pizza. I got to have the boot, the beer. Like, it is. It's and ridiculous. then people hey, are yeah, like. Let me get two, three beers. And then a couple of brats, and then hey, hey, what do you put on the brats? Uh, we put mustard, relish, mustard, relish, onions, mushrooms. Uh, what do you want? Pepperoni on there? We put yeah, give Double me all the, the toppings <laughs> on a brat. Yeah, but we do. Seriously, it's and true. then and then what happens? You eat it, and you're like, oh, sh- I gotta work out now. I feel like I feel like crap. I gotta I gotta go work no. this off. You know, yes. so it's a, so then yes. fitness becomes into almost like a negative thing where you're like fitness could almost be turned negative to where it's like i ate like crap this weekend so now i gotta work out to like feel good about myself people don't understand all that stuff you eat it take a long time to burn that off man and it catches up with you they say like one cheap meal a week and you do that for a month straight it throws you off for months yep it's crazy justin's like just as like, <laughs> um, and that's give what, it up, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Just enjoy your lives. Throw away the Pringles. Throw away the checks. Do what you want. <laughs> Y'all better quit playing. We're all there. dying anyway. Uh, well, that's fucking sad. Yeah, yeah. Justin, that's sad to say Shit. too. Well, We're then all why dying. Why do I even anyway. have a pull-up bar? At this point, <laughs> no, no man. Hey, I'm proud of you and that pull-up <laughs> bar. I know you so keep, high. I was actually impressed. Up, I was man. like. God. Well, it's funny. I'm like, you know, when you're like in high school and you like walk through a door like to a house party and you're like, oh, damn, like this guy's got a pull bar on his door. You like <laughs> automatically think like, wow, this guy must like actually like take care of himself. Like he's got pull. Oh, bar. so is that, you know, like that, that's, does that's that work what I rules? thought. Does that work for <laughs> the ladies, Justin? For the ladies. <laughs> ladies come over and like, the thing hey, wait, the girls come over. They'd be like, yes. <laughs> 
knocks out. Oh Andy my God, bar. Sandy, did you see that guy's pull up bar in there? Oh my there? God, girl, hey, wait, wait, girl, he's got a pull up. Wait, he's, he's about the bathroom. I gotta go, girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Well, more about my sex life later. <laughs> and moving, <laughs> moving into other things. <laughs> This just got personal. Um, yeah, I mean, I well, I love. Uh, can I can I just give a gripe? Okay, wh I, I, what I, I, I go, tell us. T you you could talk to yeah, us. Me, tell us how you feel. Tell us. Leave the cat that has my tongue and go say ahead. this. What's wrong now? I cannot stand people at the fucking gym oh in general, yeah. and I'm talking about these lifer people. What is it that you? Do, well, hold on. What? I've had some thoughts. Uh, let you me, got let some me thoughts. get across some thoughts. All right. Here. Number one. Mm -hmm. These fucking guys, the guys coming in here to the gym mm -hmm. and they're fucking <laughs> yeah. like grunting, like grunting and shit. Yeah. Like number, first of all, yeah. fuck these dudes. I don't. Need I to can. To that. I can. I see these motherfuckers. They're doing like sixty or whatever, sixty-five. I'm like, bitch. I'm doing fifties. Like I. <laughs> and look, I'm me <laughs> right now. Okay. And you're like not up me, there grunting come like on, you, dude. Yeah. Like Jesus fucking Christ. Like relax. Hey, yeah, maybe that. May, hey, Justin. Maybe that was like his tenth set though. I mean. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, he had to drop Possible. the weight because he was doing hundred. He was doing hundred. He, he, he did, yeah, maybe. Like, you know, come on, bro. He, he, is, he, that was like his tenth set. He was doing the hundreds. He dropped down to the sixties, and you know, he was. I do agree, though. The the excessive um, grunting. I mean, keep it to like, <gasps> you know, <gasps> like a noise that's level a good, that doesn't look, bother that's everybody. That's a good. That's a good chin. tone. You want to? I mean, if you got to, I mean, every now and is, you might have. <sighs> But I mean, when you, it's, ah! like a, it's like a Serena and Venus <laughs> match. Like I could go watch tennis for that. I don't need to watch that at the gym. <laughs> Motherfuckers doing Tarzan yells. <laughs> well, best yet, I had a guy singing, singing hey. from his eye, oh like singing the music, singing? just singing out loud. But I was like, I can't. I had to leave the gym. He's in his own, man. Oh, man. That's, cool. that's not that's, even. That's, I've see, never heard that before. Hashtag gym etiquette. Gym etiquette. Okay. It's also like you can't wear the shorts that like go up your butt or like got like you know. There's things. There's These just gym etiquette. The so they can show up. Gym etiquette. Gym etiquette. Pounders like gym. me. I'm like, bro. All right. Gym etiquette. It's a thing. Gym, gym etiquette, etiquette is a thing. Yeah. Gym etiquette. You is leave a thing. that bench all sweaty. That's. And this girl comes up and she's like bench. about Wipe. to do a chest press and it's like, holy sh. What. What is all that water over there? That ain't water, girl. <laughs> also, Sweat. Yeah, that's yeah. That's and also gym etiquette. Okay, no, another thing that uh, grinds my gears is what we'll, uh, we'll grinds your gears? Is, oh, like all these people who are doing like uh, squats or whatever, and uh -huh. they start putting all the heavy weight on there, and they get all like like psyched up, and they got guys you know around like, and they're doing they do like one, and, they, and then it's not even like a full. Full, full rep. rep. Yeah. It's like, bro. It's too heavy. The fuck are you doing? It's range, too heavy. Yeah. Range of motion it's is way more important than that. heavy. Get the form down. Yeah. I'd rather you get the form. And, oh, and, yeah. And 100%. And it's lightweight. Just, then I hate it when guys are like doing curls and shit. And they're not even curling. They like lift. Oh, and yeah. And then they like use their body. Form. It's like. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like, hey, man, you go throw your back yeah. out, dude. Bro, and you go be. Squats, you go be yeah. in big yeah. trouble. Holy Oh, shit balls, it is. Bro. I squirm when I see that shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People you are going to have palsy or lower back in like three years, bro. Oh, you going to have problems about three minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You go in, oh, in that back that. and, and, and that back, dude. Dude, turning my back thinking about Dude, it. Dude, I just I want an, I just want to be walking when I'm a hundred. Yeah. Right? Did you hear what she yeah, said? A hundred though. That's cause she's gonna work she's out. Gorgeous. She's all about fitness. She's trying to live. Yeah. She, you, I'm trying to be healthy, everything in moderation, but you know what? I don't need to be lifting two hundred pounds like just to get swole. You know, like that's <laughs> That first off, that's not a goal. Yeah, Everybody's goal. got their own individual goals, right? Whether it's you want to look good on stage for somebody, and you're, you know, you're Ooh, in somebody, acting somebody. or whatever it may be. You're trying to lift a certain weight. Everybody's got different goals that they're trying to attain. Mm -hmm. But there also comes a point where it's like, are you gonna be able to walk <laughs> when you're 80? And do you, is this like, are you gonna really care about the amount of weight that you lifted when you were 30? Also, are you enjoying life? <laughs> let's, just, let's just pose that as a question. Are you even yeah. enjoying life? I like, son of a bitch. And you know some people. We know some. I joke with my friends who, all the like, time. All they eat is like a bland chicken yeah. breast or some shit, and it's like, yeah. oh, you can put some season on yes. there. Yes, Christ. Well, and then come on, don't hurt yourself. So I didn't tell you this. You or you may have known. I don't know. 
So I became really fitnessy and was like, ooh, I'm going to do one of those bikini competitions. <gasps> yeah. <gasps> Clearly didn't you happen because, did you know, I would have posted pictures, duh. Oh, I um, been like, so oh, she's into that it's now. crazy because <laughs> you have to weigh every little thing that you eat and consume. I'm talking about, like, if I want to put honey in my coffee, gotta I got to, like, weigh the honey. Are you serious? Is there you a don't weigh don't, honey? Is that a way of life? No. Like, I'm sorry, but I gotta be I up at 3.30 in the morning. I, Last thing I wanna do is weigh the honey to put in my coffee. That, I'm not weighing, I'm imagine, not weighing no honey, dude. That sounds horrific on so many levels. It does. Can you imagine with a spoon of honey? <laughs> oh, shit, I got a spoon of that, fuck it. No, can you imagine? Uh, yeah, you I weigh it. Dude, you, you can't go out. What the fuck? Yeah. Like, you can't go out with friends. No. You can't enjoy a it's beer. It's a life suck to just be. This is my this is my biggest contention with fitness in general in America. Yeah, is like it and I, and it gets to the point you made earlier. Like it would get to the point where if like I didn't go to the gym, I was, I was hating myself for not yeah. going to the gym. Yeah, there. and now I'm so busy I can't fucking get to the gym. But at the same time, it's like well I got other things that I care about doing. Right. That's why I have the fucking pull up bar and everything else. It's like I'm I still want to do fitnessy things. But I don't want to feel horrific about myself because I'm not making it to the gym. Right. right. There's got There's other things you can do to work out and like be healthy, whatever. True. And not have to go to the gym all the time. I like yeah. going to the gym. I like yeah. lifting weights. But I don't want to hate myself if I don't make it to the goddamn gym. That's yeah. the biggest thing. I like lifting weights too. Um, I'm not trying to go heavy because you're right. It's it's not about that. No. I, I don't want to tear anything and 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 hurt myself. I do enjoy lifting weights. I, I enjoy working out, period. Because it's like you said, when you do go, um, it's, it's a great way to get rid of stress. Mm -hmm. It really is. Um, you just feel good about yourself. It makes you feel like you got that first thing. I, I like to go in the morning. Yeah. It, it makes you feel on. like you've gotten that, that one thing out the way, and it just really just sets your whole day up. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And it's like, well, you know, there'd be in everything. It's like there's an extreme. And like some people just take it to the extreme where it's like it just becomes excessive and it becomes just like anything, like almost like unhealthy. You know, you can. not That's the fucked up part about it. It starts to become unhealthy. But unhealthy. what Level point does it get? What What's that point? What point does it get to that? <laughs> when you're measuring, when you're, when you're measuring honey, for yeah. one. When you're, measure, when you're measuring honey and when you're working out every day. My yeah. question. Your body needs rest. Yeah. Your body needs I, rest. I agree with that. But if you work out every day, guess what, y'all? Your body will tell you, hey, it's time to go to sleep. Your body is getting tired. Yeah, you got to listen to your body. For Four sure. Four or five o'clock, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to bed at 8 o'clock. Yeah. I'm going to bed at 8.30. Yeah. You're in bed by 10. If you work out every day. 30 minutes, 45 minutes an hour. If you're working out every day, at least five days a week, I guarantee your ass is in the bed before 10 o'clock. But then yeah. what guarantee, else are you dude. doing? Like, you know, you got to be able to go out and do things. Like, it's different because, like, Lauren is involved with fitness to right. help people do fitness. Right. Yeah. So it's uh, you're working to help people. And yeah. I've seen your videos and whatnot, and, like, you do fitness in a good way. I've seen your shit, which is why you're on the couch. I want people to feel but good like, about themselves. Right. That's, Simply, that's but that's, that's it. That's the thing, but you have a lot of other people out here who are saying the wrong stuff or like, yeah, don't know what they're doing, but think they're doing the right thing. And it's like, yo, man, like, what are you sacrificing to get that extra muscle mass? Yeah. Like, what girl well, could look you at be people seeing? like sacrifice? What show could you be seeing? I sacrifice. mean, no what joke. What foods could you be eating? But look at the supplement industry. Like, oh, everything. Oh, you guys, yeah. I always oh, relate damn. this back to like the government and how everything is controlled up top. Like. Yeah. You look at like dairy and you look at all these large companies making all the money, you know, babies, anything with babies is like at the top. And then after babies, it comes like the supplement industry because people spend a lot of money on babies and people spend a lot oh, of money on supplements. supplements. Yeah, but it goes crazy. back to the quick fix. I want to get ripped in two months. What do I got to do to do it? Well, we live in this world. Everything's at our okay. fingertips. You know, that is a, yo, I'm not getting enough puss. I want to look so good I get pussy, yo. What do I got to do? I got to take a couple of these pills? What, I got to stick this thing in my ass? All right. Basically. <laughs> is that if what I, they say? That's like, I'm not to, people that's are, willing, are people hey. willing to do that. You yeah. guys. I, I know. It's there crazy. is somebody that is willing to do that. Yeah. But you're right. That, yeah, everyone it's it's the quick fix country. I don't got a personality, so let me get some big muscles <laughs> so I can get laid. <laughs> like, bro, the, 
like developed some interests. But it is. And the scariest <laughs> part about it, book. supplements, <laughs> you guys, like, I don't care if it's made out of pea protein or what you tell me it's made out of. There is something in there that is not natural. Okay. It's powder. Yes. I it's don't powder. care. I don't care what it is. It's not natural. So my thing is, like, eat normal natural food and get your protein from that you don't need to be eating all this like protein half the time your body can't even digest the yeah. 80 ingredients that are in that protein yeah that is and then facts. you also wonder why people then get stomach issues they yeah. get ibs they get all these different issues and they're like mm, what have i been doing different I don't know what my stomach hurts like this. I mean, I'm drinking the same so amount of beer that I always drink. Once upon a time <laughs> in a land old age, people were not working out so mightily in the gym. They were just eating healthy yeah. like fish that they caught themselves. Yeah. Back in the, back in the days of Jesus. There exactly. were, days of Jesus. There were ripped people who did not excessively work out. In I don't the think gym. they was ripped back then, though. No, Men they were the They was yeah. lean. They were some lean dudes. Yes, they yeah. were. But Justin, they were Leslie. eating berries. <laughs> like, <laughs> you guys, berries? they were picking True. berries from the tree and they were shooting. Well, actually, they, they probably didn't even have a gun. They were some yeah. lean motherfuckers. They were. They were, they were, they were, they were they fucking ate. fish. Venison. They ate, yes, lean fucking meats. Yeah. Whatever they could fucking get their Dude. hands Lots on. Lots of berries. Lots of <laughs> berries. <laughs> Goat berries, yeah, lamb. yeah. But again, With all some natural. some potatoes and some lemon and some. I have a friend who's who's legitimately. He's like, I'm a sp I'm a Spartan, not like 300 <laughs> level Spartan. But he's the dude's fucking good looking, and he's ripped. And the motherfucker tells me like, mm, if you want to go to the gym, go to like go three days a week, and then just eat a bunch of fish with that's not fried. Have some, sprinkle some lemon, some herbs on it, and fucking you know a little bit of rice and the vegetable. Wait, Boom, is that what go. you said or he told you that? Oh, he said that. To he me. told you that. He told me. Repeat that, that again. Okay, he said in his voice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all right. So his name, his name is Alex. He might be on the podcast. He's Alex, you need to be tuning in to this, man. Cat. Let us know I how you like sound. He's, he's an interesting on. cat. We gotta fix your fucking. I know. Comments. I keep fixing. it. Don't worry about it. I don't know why it's, it's doing that. It's I worked on that shit all the time to make sure it wouldn't be doing that for you, and they're still doing it. Anyway, it's because I'm so black. Alex would be like, hey. <laughs> Look, all you gotta do is you just gotta eat white, you know, eat fish, sprinkle a little lemon, sprinkle a little herbs and spices. That's it. A little bit of rice, some vegetables. That's all you gotta eat. Come on. He, he's probably genetically like perfect and he shit. He is genetic. He is a yeah. Greek guy. Yeah. You get you some people. Oh, you, there's there's some genetic. Ge there yeah. is a thing oh, called yeah. genetics, you mm -hmm. guys. That is, you know, unfortunate. But, but that's but another big part of fitness, right? Everybody is got different. Everybody's genetics, different. And, and yeah. everybody's body. Everybody's remember, different. So they had the whole thing with the uh, Soylent shit. And they're like, this is all you need. You just have to have this Soylent and you're going to be good. <laughs> and then people started eating the fucking Soylent. And then people started having problems. They're like, oh, what happened? This was supposed to be everything everybody needed at one time. Yeah. It's like, well, motherfuckers, they just found out that everybody's body's different, bitch. So... <laughs> <coughs> you gotta tailor that shit. Yeah. You heard it yeah. first. Oh, everybody's <laughs> everybody's body different. Everybody. That's real. Yeah. That's real. Yeah. I would agree. What you put that. in your body, uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta know what's going on. All right. Let, let me let me move this on for a second. So so Lauren, <laughs> let's let's get to the actual heart of Chicago here for a second. Ooh, let's go. All right, my so city. Let's say fitness. That's right. Where what where 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 would you recommend? How okay? Let's just start with this question. How does one effectively do fitness in this city? Because it's not an easy city to do the fitness. To do the fitness. Because That's I a great personally, question. I mean, you've got gyms everywhere, but you got to fucking drive to the gym in the yep. fucking city. I mean, I guess you could go. I mean, you could. I see a lot of fit fuckers out by the lake doing shit. But like, mm -hmm. what are your recommendations? They're lucky. Did, what's the best way? What have you found in your? Well, stuff? number one, we all want what's convenient. So I would suggest the researching any sort of gym near you and just see what's near you because when you start to have to get in your car and travel 20 30 40 minutes to get to a gym it's not happening you're not gonna do it you're not gonna do it so you got to do something that you're like yep. you got no excuse yep. what time is it oh my <laughs> phone says it's time to go to the gym oh it's 40 minutes away oh geez oh i forgot i have to watch that special on the television it's a special. Yeah. I have to watch it. No one is going to work out at a gym that's 40 minutes away from them. No. Unless, unless that gym is in the building they work at. Unless that gym that's is serving high-grade narcotics, pizza, <laughs> and booze. I'm not going to that fucking gym. Yeah. Well, wow. and then 
What kind I of mean, pizza is that? <laughs> you'd be surprised. Where, where, are the, where is that? Juice bars, yeah. acai bowls. I mean, you, you name go. it, they got it all. That you can get a massage, you can get a lunch, and you can work out all what in one. Gyms? What is this gym? What well, is this? Fitness Formula Club is one. Really? Which F hold up? F oh, that's what that is. Hold oh, up, that's though. FFC. They that's FFC. Got it. I mean, that's a whole shout out to thing, FFC. Though, though. That's like a that's okay. So you got to explain to everybody the the clubs like the exports and stuff, and, and then that's you get it. to the. So it's like, are you going to be that individual who can work out on their own, and you can go to the gym with a plan? And you can tell yourself, I'm going to be in here for an hour. I'm not going to talk to anybody, and I'm going to get my work done. You got to ask yourself that. That's me. If that's not you, then you got to find a group fitness place. Because the best part about any sort of group fitness, you walk through the door, someone tells you what to do for an hour, and you leave. Yeah. And it's that easy. It's that easy. That's what people need because I think um, one I notice about people working out and reason why people don't work out is because one they don't know how, hundred percent they do not know what to do so they they get in there they feel out of place fish out of water they notice everybody just just doing their thing and it's th- scary it's scary it is and and the person next to them can be new as well but they just kind of have someone to tell them what to do I so know what we're doing. yeah. <laughs> Idea. And that's it. Cat's gonna follow you. That's a bad idea. I have nothing else to do. <laughs> but that's what you just see. Just run really hard. And that's how people, you know, bad form. You just doing stuff, and then guess what? They ain't even break a sweat, and they already done because well, they're intimidated. And that's the thing, though. So they're intimidated, and then if they do say, "Okay, I'm gonna go to the gym and start working out," but then they don't see change. That is such a big thing. It's like. We have everything at our fingertips, just like what we're talking about, supplements. It's like you want a quick change. How can I get change? And if you're doing that same thing and you're not seeing change, people just stop. They don't know what to do. So my next thing would be like go somewhere that, number one, those professionals that are training know what they're doing and they know how to help you achieve that goal, whatever it may be. And group fitness, oh, my God. Like we were talking about how competitive it gets, but it's like – you walk in, it's your hour, you get it done, you go to work, you go to the 6 a.m. class, yep. your workout is done for the day. You're done. And you feel so flipping good. Yeah. Like, you go somewhere, at least if you come take my class, you guys at Orange Theory, I oh, always okay. have the best playlist. So it's like people come in, they're like, oh, my God, we get to listen to the best playlist today. Like, people are getting down. They are. It's like a dance party at 6 a.m. And then you just leave, and you are – energized you're ready for the day your endorphins are going and that's what people love about you know group fitness it's just easy so i don't know Hmm. you got it you got to be honest with yourself true this is true this is and this is a thing that is a is a burden upon many people and my next thing on top of that is in terms of your goals and whatever you're doing for fitness like you know justin may say okay i want to be able to lift or bench 200 pounds in the next six months. Let's just say that. Right. And I could, and I could say, well, I just want to be able to walk up a flight of stairs without panting. Right. So there's, yeah, it depends on your goals. So like for me, I'd be like, great. We need some high intensity interval training or some circuits that are, you know, going to get your heart rate up for Justin. I'll be like, we got to be lifting. We got to go to the gym. We got to be lifting. We got to be trying to increase your weight, you know, every week. So, you know, that's another thing. You got to ask yourself, what are your true goals? Like I told you before, mine, I want to be walking when I'm 100 years old. I want to be fit. I want to be walking without a cane or a walker. I want to be functional fitness. I want something that can, like, basically encompass every part of my being, physically, mentally, everything. So. I see that. That sounds like a wonderful goal. (laughs) Wonderfulness? Yes, it does. Indeed. (laughs) I I support you in your goal. <laughs> I would Thanks, I would Justin. I will be Thank dead you. by then, but I I, just, I hope Don't it works say for you. That. Don't say that. No, you can you can you know once you put your mind to something, and honestly, fitness and or health and fitness is also kind of like a way of life. 
I mean, I live a crazy schedule where I'm waking up at 3.45 in the morning and I'm teaching fitness classes. And Damn! I don't mind. This is really weird. I, I almost never have the time to go out and drink. I really don't. Um, hey, that's a good thing. Which is a good thing. Because you're not missing a damn thing. But you know what? I don't mind it. Like, it's weird. I love starting my day early. I love motivating people. Like, that is my thing. You know what I always also like to say? What do you I like don't to get say? to yell at people. Like, my sister is very type A, so she's always, like, very dominant conversation. Sure, sure. So fitness may just be the thing where I get to, like, yell at people, you know, for three hours. and like get Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> that is a thing that I have noticed in these classes. Okay, okay. Just release I, I the demons. Look. Okay, I have a thing what's I've your been th- wanting to ask about. For what's your thing, bro? Lauren knows about this. What's your thing, man? And I, and I what is? I get moving around here, but I have to ask this question. What in the fuck is with Soul Cycle? Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, my this, God. Yeah, I know. That has got to be a who, – who's going this? My bu- I can't do that. My butt hurts so bad after sitting in a seat for an hour like that. It's not good for you to sit in a bike like, – like literally sitting on a bicycle – with the bike, with the bike seats that they have, yeah. it's not like it's not good for anybody's groinage area at it's all. It's the energy. It's the instructor. You know, Let's like you go get to it, like folks. Woo! You do. You go to like you guys. I'm not kidding you. You like go to a gym and you're like, oh man, Ron's class. Mm, he's got the best class. You will schedule your day around when that person teaches. That's true. Just because you know that that person may be a little bit more motivating than that other person. At least I do that. Trainers can suck at their jobs like anybody else at their job. So a trainer's job is to motivate. And, yeah, I would totally work with someone. I mean, what's the point of going if you feel like, damn, I could have did that, you know? Yeah. And there are some trainers that are like, they just go just collecting a paycheck, you know? They might not have a passion for actually working out. It may just be something that they're good at and they just do it. They don't really care about the customers all that much. So they don't really push them to the point of where that customer is getting the best out of their time. So, yeah, those trainers that give a damn and they like making sure they're watching everybody, making sure no one's taking shortcuts. Let me take no breaks in between, you know, get it in. Finish your finish your set. So then, you know what I have to say to Soul Cycle? You know why? Why is that? Because that just means that they take time to hire the best fucking trainers. That's why people are going there. Mm. It is, right? It's the trainers. You're not going there because the bike. Yeah. You are not going there because the showers. That's true. You're not going there because the locker room. You're going there because the trainer and how they make you feel. No, you're absolutely right. Because Debbie is so hot. And that. I mean, if they're like (laughs) ripping off the shirts and the guy's got a six pack, I mean, maybe it's a better Hey, man. Hey. No. If I walk into, you know, a group session or whatever, I'm like, hey, 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 man. Hey, fam, put your shirt back on, dog. Yeah, you shredded for days, dog. Put your shirt on, man. I ain't trying to see that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if like, he gets people to his class and he's getting paid per head, he, maybe he's got to do what he's got to do. <laughs> oh, man, is that what you got to do? I bet he is getting paid per head. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Sexual jokes. Sexual jokes. Sexual jokes is happening. Um, what, okay, what's a what's a what's a yeah. uh, what is a good diet plan that you would recommend? Diet plan. We have, what about like keto diet versus something else? What would you recommend? Don't diet. Period. Okay. What? Yeah. Y'all hear that, y'all? Diet. No. Diet. <laughs> diet is negative. Mm. Diet is restricting something. Mm. When I talk to people and they're like, I want to lose 10 pounds, Mm -hmm. I want to lose 20 pounds Mm -hmm. in six months for my wedding, Mm -hmm. you got to eat natural whole foods. Also, the second most important thing on top of that, especially for females, protein. Mm. Guys, it's not what you're thinking. So (laughs) clear, clear your dirty minds, gentlemen. Okay, this is not... This is not that type of podcast, guys. Seriously, one of my friends just went to this huge, large fitness um, expo this past weekend. She calls me up on the phone, and she's like, oh, my God, I can eat more. And this girl's, like, in shape. She looks fabulous. And she, just like everybody else, you have this, 
you know, picture of what you actually look like in the mirror, but that's not what you look like, right? Or at least other people say you don't. <laughs> so she's like, I need to eat less to like lose weight and then I'll be happier when I'm like, you know, thinner and I start losing weight. Well, she ends up talking to one of these doctors there and they ask her like, well, what are you eating? She goes, I eat really healthy. I have like oatmeal and she's going throughout her day and the lady's like, well, how much protein like are you eating? (laughs) This girl was eating like 50 grams of protein a day, which you guys, that is nothing. That's nothing. Women, you should be eating half of your body weight in protein a day. If not more, they say a pound per what you should actually okay. weigh. Now well, that's just women. Yes. Okay. Well, men too. I mean, you guys, protein is huge, right? So what happens is, like, when you're eating all these carbohydrates and sugars, that's not fueling any sort of muscle. Crash. That's giving you the energy, you know, that you need for the first thirty minutes of your workout. Right. But when people want to tone and like look good, you know, you want muscle. You don't want to be storing fat. So. My thing is don't diet, don't restrict crazy amounts of food because you're going to end up hating it and you won't follow it. You want something that you're going to follow for your life, right? So like I do though. Yeah. Make sounds, yourself that good. Yeah. I mean like who doesn't like a good chicken breast or if you're vegan, make yourself tofu or something. My whole thing, you guys meal prep. It is life changing. It is. It is. People it, our day and age don't have time, yep. nor do millennials want to come home. I did plated for a year, by the way. I would come home from COTG working in sales, and it would be like 8 o'clock. I'm like, I have to make this. And it's all in like 20 individually wrapped baggies. And I'm like, why can't it just be in one? And why can't I throw it in the oven? And I would never make it. I would throw it out. Mm. But if I had something that was already made that was healthy and I could just heat up, done i would eat it and then there you go now you don't eat the entire bag of chips that's sitting above your fridge right meal prep is important folks i heard it first make it easy for yourself stop making it so hard i like cooking fresh then cook fresh cook that's fresh. great that's palm, even better palm to table that's even better <laughs> so stupid. you guys that's even I like better palm to table right from you so <laughs> I love I love to cook. Dude, wait the from from I farm from farm to table. To you, that's, that's why I have no time. Dude, like, that, <laughs> dude, you are the freshest motherfucker I ever I met, eat, man. That I eat fresh. Well then, Justin, fresh. you need to cook me a meal then if you're uh, eating that fresh. Well, yeah, dude. Well, you eat. actually, so uh, I actually do a monthly. Now that I have a kitchen table. <laughs> This is around. not a kitchen table. Yes, this is a studio nice table. table. Thank you very Whatever. much. This is not a house. Well, I'm eating on it, so it counts as. <gasps> It's dual use purpose table. Oh, wow, I like it. Yeah. Dual use. Get a bang for so your buck, right. you know? I do a, uh, so I, I like cooking, and so I like to challenge myself with cooking. So I'm now restarting a uh, monthly friend dinner night. I like so that. I invite friends over, they bring the booze, and then I will cook for them. Well, yeah. I'll be oh, damned. I love that. That's, That's fun. fun. Yeah, it's fun. And, and so I, you got to do what try makes bring you. I different friends from different groups, parts of my life, so people meet each other and everything. That's, That's awesome. awesome. That is and fun. you got to do what makes you happy. And That's like real dope, dude. I can't wait for that invite. Yeah, me too. Because yeah. <laughs> clearly list. we haven't gotten I'm invites over eat here. Up all well, yeah. <laughs> what is very interesting, it's a very hard invitation to get. It's, uh, it's more pristine. I'm sure. Hey, I'm very happy that I'm on the inner circle. But also. To, know the passwords. to circle oh, back sure. on people trying to lose weight, you guys, if you are moving more and you're eating less, you will lose weight. If you, you could be eating, they did a study. Now I was reading this research study the other day. They were doing, they were giving McDonald's cheeseburgers to um, these research groups and they split them in half 30 and 30. The people who actually lost weight were still eating the McDonald's cheeseburgers, but they were eating less calories. So they were actually saying it doesn't even matter what you eat, but as long as you're eating less calories and moving more, you will lose weight. Now, I don't, I'm not telling you to go out and eat McDonald's cheeseburgers, you guys, but I am saying. Y'all heard that disclaimer, right? Move more. Move Just more. Just move more. Move more. If you want to take an Uber, go for a walk. Yeah. If you- if you I mean, move your these, ass. Get Buy these dang Damn. bird things off the street. Get the scooters off the street. If the kids are, are on your lawn, 
<laughs> get outside, run around, chase him around. Maybe that this is why people in <laughs> other countries live longer than us. Oh, it, it is a fact. We a bunch of fat asses over here. We y'all. are. We do. We we overindulge. Everything's processed. Everything. That's is, true. The processed ugh. food here is ridiculous, man. It's awful. It's bad. This is true. It's naughty. This is true. And if uh, I mean, if you don't want to move, then you can have something move you. <laughs> and moving right along in other, other news, uh, the CTA, which is a harbinger of movement <laughs> that is some all s- people. That's some serious moving going on that's right now. That's right. Lots of moving. Yeah. You, you, you can walk your a- your fat ass to the CTA <laughs> yeah. and let the CTA move your fat ass. Move your fat ass to your... <laughs> Because it's too far away for you yeah. to move your fat ass that yeah, far. Yeah, that's what CTA that's what comes in here. Because right. in, in, in the CTA, I mean, in my opinion, is the best transit system in the country. That I'm going to go. What? That is factual. That's got to be a fact. It's close. I mean, there's I mean, no traffic. I mean, you everybody says that, though. Everyone that comes here, they're like, dude, you all, especially the trains. I wouldn't recommend riding a bus. You might get your ass snatched off the bus now. <laughs> <laughs> but the train, unless you're on the red line, the train systems, hmm, it's on point, man. That's right. Well, Ron, you speak the truth because the CTA is now investing in a $2.1 billion. That's what? billion with a B. That's a B? Wait, that's where all our Mr. money's Powers. going? That's some serious money, That's where all the money, money's dude. going? Yes. There's Aww. money going all the, uh, You have not been listening to Shit, our dude. podcast. Hey, man. We talk about money going hey. all which ways. We don't know where the money is, hey, man. who's collecting hey, it, and Justin. where it's going. Hey, man, I might have to give me a job, CTA, dog. I would like a job in the government because apparently there's just money. It's just away. money. Everybody got money to go. Everybody yeah. gets money, money, money. <laughs> Here's the government. <laughs> That's what's going on. But I need yeah. some money, man. Yeah. It's like $2.1 billion, but Two. how much of that is getting siphoned off to my friend? That's a really good question. Oh, dinner here. <laughs> $2.1 billion. That sounds like some serious <laughs> ghost payroll shit, man. Just I waiting to happen. Know. It's, oh, our city is so messed up in so many ways. But you know what? The, the, you know what this is going to remind me of? What project's been going on before I was oh born? Oh, my God. The highway. Projects. Oh, my God. Projects. How long has that dang highway been under construction? It goes all the way to Oak Brook now. Yes. How long has that dang highway been it under will, construction? It will. It will get, <laughs> They did a news story on this on NBC the other day, and they literally videotaped the guy in the car with the camera facing him. He's like, I'm about to get onto the Chicago. Oh, I'm going to follow the old signs. And clearly he goes the wrong way. And he's like, well, I'm following the old signs to Chicago. And he gets off, and he's like, like, this this is how this works. Now we see why so many people are confused. It's awful. Parkway is closed. I just like plan, Chicago. Oh my God! It, Congress it's Parkway like, has been closed for a very long time. Congress Parkway. I mean, two ninety four. Like the whole thing, they just got to get a better system in place because if you don't time the your leaving, <laughs> your departure, or your arrival properly, you will be sitting for two hours in traffic. That's why yeah. I use ways. Oh, yeah. Ways, ways is happen. good. Ways is good. I use ways, but yo. still, I'm like, there's no way around it. It's awful. And that CTA project, the same thing's going to happen. Oh, we're going to be done in 2025? No, you're not. Yeah, so they're, that's exactly what they're saying. It's going to be done. They're going to major construction on the red and purple lines that will be finished. It's going to be done in the year 3000. There's no way. Damn. So at that point, we won't even need a red or purple line, is my guess. I mean, shit, shit better be flying by then, but we won't be here to see what's this going on. But you seriously, though, I mean, like. Charts and graphs, this is phenomenal. We'll post this on did the Did you page. hear that they were handing out pamphlets? Yes, I, it's what the article, yes, they're handing out and pamphlets. And here's what you do in when the, when shit hits the fan. Also, <laughs> though, where you go. I feel awful for all those people who either may live right next to, who have recently bought a home next to. You're fucked. You guys, the amount of dust that you'll be inhaling. <laughs> you mean the, the price of my next. property value has gone down because of massive construction? You better believe it, baby. The city yes. is filthy enough with the dust and dirt and the amount of building projects going on. I couldn't even imagine living up there. Do you know how many people that's going to take away? Like, so many people are going to move just because of that. Yeah. Well, it's I mean, awful. As if there wasn't another reason to leave the city of Chicago. They've just added one more reason. <laughs> this is true. Uh, the city of Chicago is the only major metropolitan city that has lost population over the past decade. Yeah. And 
Uh, you know why. The days is <laughs> it's expensive living. It's expensive. Here, you know? Oh, it is. Well, it's just the taxes. It's taxes. the taxes and all this type of crap that they're doing. I mean, one, okay, one, I am glad that they're trying to modernize public transportation. Because a lot of motherfuckers. A lot of cities, a lot of cities got okay. terrible public terrible. transportation. That's so I get, I, totally get yeah, I totally get it. I totally get it. I totally get it. I mean, but. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at I'm it. I'm not just, mad at it. It's it. going to be an inconvenience. Yeah, it's, it's going to be It's, it's going to be inconvenient. inconvenient. It's going to be an inconvenience, but in Chicago. And the, the, the CTA is real important here. That's the one thing that actually works. I will say it was really funny. So the other day, my, my family, it was my mom's birthday. We took a trip to Canada. Happy birthday, mama. And um, I, you guys, I don't ride the CTA at all. <laughs> I, I have a car. I'm really spoiled. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, um, Are you so a Range Rover. I no. remember one day you in the car. She's like, "I want to <laughs> lease a Range Rover." It's gonna cost me like seven hundred dollars a month, but I want to do it. I'm so like, "So my what are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah, when I worked at Xerox <laughs> on all those copiers. Ron has um, a Range Rover. He can tell you. It's whoa, Ron. Ron. Ron's looking at me like, "Don't okay, divulge hey, secrets." Then. That is. <laughs> Don't divulge my secrets, <laughs> bro. It's okay. You have a Range Rover. Just hey, enjoy I'm goals. Your I'm, not, I'm, goal. not, I'm not complaining. It's <laughs> it's expensive. It's, expensive. it's got it's 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 got his uh, ups and downs. It definitely has many ups. No, I did recently. I did recently buy a new car in April. Oh. Um, it is a Kia, oh. but it's a seven seater Kia, oh. so it's pretty uh Damn. white. We got like a beige interior. And you can like fit it's everybody. Pretty, it's pretty bougie. Um. But so you get spoiled with a car. You drive everywhere. True. Also, why do people like driving? It's your own personal space. You breathe your own air. You get to put the music you want on. You don't have to worry about, you know. Keep going. Some you, you, crazy I, I, person screaming in the corner. Yeah. There's a lot of different things, right? Yeah. It's why, so is what nice. happens is, <laughs> no, the CT is fabulous. So what happens was my sister and her husband, um, they live like really close to me. They're like, we're going to take the train to O'Hare I was like no we're not it's six o'clock in the morning we're taking an uber no we're not we're gonna take the train and you better believe I am not going by myself that experience at 6 a.m with an uber so we get on the train no it was the best fucking experience ever we sat on it and we took us right to the airport yeah. And then I asked myself, why do I not take the public blue transportation? Line, you saved yourself the like blue, $30. Yo. And that, it's like, I've already put over 2,000 miles on my brand new car, and I bought it with like 60 miles. I'm like, this is crazy. Yeah. And gas is gas crazy is, expensive. Gas is ridiculous. So I'm like. I drive to the burbs just so I can get cheap gas. But it's also like this thing about personal space and having your own time that you like wave room between. I, I drive. No, I, I I understand. Um, I've been driving my entire life. Um, South Sider. So, you know, you got to have a car on the South Side. You know, yeah. trying to take the bus and shit yeah. like that. So I understand. I drive everywhere. Um, when I don't drive, I will Uber. And I'll, I'll, I'll take an Uber to, to O'Hare. No problem. That's I've done it before. I've taken, I've taken blue lines to the, uh, to, the, to the airport all the time. Real fast. It's super convenient. As long as you get you a seat. Yeah, early in the morning, people going to work and stuff, but anyone is going that far, hell, they're all going to the airport or they're mm -hmm. going to work at the airport. I like mm -hmm. standing because I like to scope out the folks. You like to I scope folks? I scope out the you folks. You a folk scoper? Yeah, I'm a folk scoper. You folk and scoping. Yes, I, I like to folk the scopes. Really? Scope the folks. Yeah, and, okay. Um, all right. No, because, hey, what, hey. 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 So hey. Some shit goes down. Shit go down all the I'm time, man. Justin's got his phone there. You, He's like, he I'm go. recording. Ju I'm sending this to bar stools immediately. Justin finally got his. Video. <laughs> <laughs> I finally got one. You like, you got your luggage ready. You ready to just like. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. out of there. Yeah. Okay. I'm just like, bow. No, that's good. Hey. I'm trying to be no hero. I understand. I'm to survive. Be a survivor. Yeah. Shit. The survivors will be here in the hey. year 2000 to use the new uh, hey. orange, purple, and red. Survivors is what it's all about, man. Survivors right. tell the stories, man. You know what That's I'm saying? Right. 100%. Shit. 100%. I want to know. I want to hear that story. I don't want to. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Nah. 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 <laughs> this gets silly. Stop at. Um, so what do you yeah, think, man? I, uh, you know, but fuck it. This CTA thing is happening. It's going to cost $2.1 billion. 
um, I don't know where they're getting this money, but hey, they have it and they're using it, and it's some <laughs> at least for something good. I mean, lots of people will use this. And a lot of people will use it. There's a there's a part on the brown like the the track where when you go around the brown, it's yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. I will not do any more of that horrible noise for any of you people, but. The moving and the shaking, you can feel it. Yeah, you're just like, are we about to topple? You think that when you're on it, you really do. What line is that? What line is that? That's the brown. Brown. The brown. Brown, purple, red. Take your pick. I don't think I've ever been on the brown line before. Brown line is dope. Is it the brown? Well, I know what you're talking about, but you do feel like the brown line, red line car is gonna come off the thing and like you're gonna crash. You do feel it. That's why they're fixing it. That's a good idea. That's like a roller coaster and shit. Scares people. All the tourists that come here, the city, are like, what's going on? Yeah, you know they gotta scare you a little bit. Which line should we take? I'm trying to get to Kimball. Oh yeah, but you're gonna take the brown line. The brown line that sounds very. The brown line. I don't know if I trust the brown line. Is there a lot of shit? Um, um, just no, wait until like line. 10 minutes in. You're going to feel it shake a lot. Yeah. Just, uh, be you know, very, just hold on very, to the seat uh, next to you. Yeah. Just be careful. Yeah. It's all fine. It's yeah. going to be good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so 2.1 billion is supposed to go on till 2025. Uh, particularly, uh, which of the lines here? Where is it? I wonder how much over that 2.1 billion they're Lawrence, going. All that shit starting in 2020. It's, uh, it's going to be a massive project. I mean, five years we're going to have to deal with having to reroute this one's going this way. You're going to have to wait an extra. Basically, don't use the lines. Don't do it. Hey. Just find another line. If Keep you need to take or a bus, you know what? Other line, do yeah, you it. might have to drive for the next uh, five years. That's right. You guys just go to Uber. Go to – actually, you guys, Via. Via. Is that a new thing? Girl. <laughs> no. Yeah, oh, well, my. Okay, for, so wait, Justin, so how does he not to, know about Via? Man, here's the deal. I'm a uh, driver. All you people in Chicago. I drive. If you don't know Via, you have to. What the fuck is Via? You have to do Via. Okay, so Via <laughs> is like an Uber or a Lyft, but they <laughs> only do certain geographic area in the city of Chicago. Bougie. Typically Bougie. Cheaper. Oh. They're typically oh. cheaper. You typically. can get a ride to the airport, either O'Hare or Midway, or Midway for 25 dollars damn flat rate flat rate the thing about via they don't jack up the price every minute you're sitting in there like uber and that's like ooh, just kidding it's rush hour and then they change the price no it's a set price so you always know if i'm out at night and i'm like okay i am you know downtown chicago and i need to get back to lincoln park and it says nine dollars it's staying nine dollars that is correct and if it was uber it's all of a sudden 19, 20, 21, 22. So Via is the way to go. I, I remember the days when Vias were $2.50. Wait. <laughs> also, you used to get a black <laughs> car. The, yeah, you used to. I would go to my sales meetings and be like, you hot damn, who is going to open the door for me so I can walk out and look like a boss? Yeah, back in the, back in the original days. Back uh, in the day. So, so one who told me so about these, Via, it was always a black car, like a big ass yeah, black SUV, SUV or a black Lexus How or something. How come I never shit? know about this? Uh, because you drive. <laughs> <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> That's the simple answer. Um, uh, you yeah. guys just text me. I'll, uh, you know, give you a $10 off code. Well, I mean, I, you text me <laughs> business partners and such. <laughs> Don't be fraternizing with the guests. Hey, <laughs> use me for your via hookups. Via. Motherfucker. Via. Via. We know a sponsor. That's right. Sp- oh, via. 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 One day could yeah. be a sponsor of this very program. There you Dynamics go. Come on, via. You know, you want to. Yeah, you uh, do. Well, with that, we, we hope the CTA project uh, goes swimmingly. We all know it won't because this is the city of Chicago. Yo, no, no, no. <laughs> that's not true. I got some Boy. I got some loyal uh, family members that work for CTA. Shout out to my brother-in-law, Vince, and my other, like my, well, I could Look, say I Uncle say Dave. Yeah. I know, I'm just saying. I'm just, I know, I know. I'm, I'm just saying. I got to make sure they know that we're not dogging. <laughs> okay. We're well, not well, talking shit about CTA, CTA, y'all. We understand your pain, and we hope you do a wonderful we sure you do. CTA but all the day. The overall project is is, is going to suck balls. I'm sorry. It's yeah. not going to be good. It's going to be It's going to be pretty ballsy. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be ballsy. All right. Well, yeah. And dirty. With that being said. That being said, let's uh, move right move along. Move right along. In utter other nose. It's now time. Oh, we didn't prep you for this. No. Nope. But, but you're just going to have to wing it. <laughs> Here it goes. You can wing it's it. It's time for the, the Jag of oh. the Week. Background, what is this? <laughs> okay, so uh, 
yeah, so every week we we do the jag off of the week, which is basically somebody that uh, really did, fucks up, who really fucks up, really did badly. Wait, it's we, like they didn't know they fucked up. That's why they <laughs> jag off. Could they do some shit? And you're like, you know, you're not supposed to do that. Right. Or and they, they get caught. Or they just fucked up and we're all pissed about it. Yeah. And this week. The, the Jack Oh, I can't movie. wait. Who, who? <laughs> is the entire Chicago Bears. <laughs> <laughs> I had uh, so many options. That is I so. so I was trying to think. Oh, that's so. Okay, you know what? Y'all are. Y'all are. Because can I start off with you, this you one? You may start, sir. <laughs> Lauren's going to take it. I'm gonna take a back seat for this. You know, I'm not a sports hey, person, so go ahead and relax for this. Okay, you know what? Yeah, the Bears are out of jag off for this week. For the simple fact, I talk so much shit going into this week in London against the fucking Raiders, and we just straight up just, 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 just s all over the bed. Yeah, I feel like my grandma on Facebook right now, so I can't say what I want to say. But look, Granny, excuse me, Bears shit the bed yesterday. Bears shit the bear yesterday. They shot many beds. <laughs> there were many beds that had shit stains. And then, you know what? They had the nerve. They had the audacity to almost pull off a win. <laughs> you know what? We were watching the game. We together. were watching the game together, shit. dude. They're going to win 21-17. I'm like, I know. And it was 21-17 <laughs> with like, what, four minutes four left? Minutes and I'm left. like, I fucking no more it's shit. Gonna be, this is going to work out. Yeah, until it didn't. <laughs> Until it didn't. Yeah, I know. I was very... Yeah, nobody was happy yesterday. <laughs> it's like, hey, we're in London. Let's have a party. Fish and chips. Woo! Yeah. And Dance then, parties and, and was, shit. Yeah, and it was like, oh, jolly good. Yes. Um, welcome, Bears. Uh, here's a bunch of alcohol for free. Because you're all professional football players. We should. Hey, <laughs> to the Raiders? Mm, they're not drinking for some reason. I don't know why this is. Give me another pint. <laughs> the Bears all drunk and fucking shit. Man. Getting knocked in the mouth 17 nothing. the fucking first half. Fucking idiots. And I mean, that's why I don't watch them. Yeah, because you're saving yourself a lot of torment yep. and hurt. Hey, shout out to my boy Travis. Travis, good one, dude, because he's been calling the Bears losers all year. We got this group text going on. It's like, I don't know, 8, 12 guys on this group text. And Travis Brooks. Yeah, Travis, I don't know if you're listening. You don't know if you're paying attention. But you got this one right. So I got to give him props. Wow. Bears, um, Bears let me down yesterday. We three and two right now. That's not good. No, it's not good, man. J- I mean, I was. I mean, who, who? I could pick a bunch of people. I could definitely pick Chase Daniel. I'm gonna start with Chase Daniel. Chase Daniel's definitely at the top. How many picks he throws? Oh, no, I don't know, no. And he yeah. just throws it to fucking <laughs> random the, the, people. Okay, the so you know what? All right, so I can look past the one oh. you threw in the first half when you just threw right to a linebacker that was literally standing right there and play. He didn't move. I think he shifted a little bit, but that was it. You threw it right to him. The last one, though? What the fuck, man? Throw it out of bounds, dude. Take the intentional ground and look. Anything. Because you know they're going to say there was com- miscommunication. <laughs> But they're going to blame it on you. They're not going to say the receiver didn't run his That's route. That's why he's a backup. I wanted so badly to make John Gruden the jag off of the week because yeah. he started saying some shit after yeah. the game. But then I was like, you know what? We got to – the Bears done – they done goofed. Yeah, they goofed. They done up, goofed man. big time. That's a – that's – damn, you sound like Arnold right there. That was a little Austrian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dime. Dime. The Bears, they really goofed. Oh, my God. California. Uh, yeah. Oakland. California. <laughs> the, <laughs> governor. the Raiders, they actually beat the Bears in London. Uh, more yep. muscles. Hey, yeah. but um, tie in the fit now. <laughs> oh my God. Raiders, r- hey Raiders, uh, smash. They they hit us in the mouth. Ugh. They um, Raiders did what they supposed to do, man. Bears, they got it together. I, Second I half. Hate making the Bears the jag offs. I hate it too. But I hate having to admit it, but they did. Us up so they did. Much and then fucked our, uh, just fucked us over. Yeah. They hurt our hearts. I'm disappointed. I'm, Come on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm, they my said it was a trap hurt. game. I I was. Yeah, we got trapped. I love for the Bears. We got trapped. God. Damn it, Bears. You got trapped, man. <laughs> yeah, we got You're all trapped. a bunch of dang offs. How hey. dare you hurt us like this? Hey, get y'all shit together for uh, we next week. started man. doing well, and God, you mother... Oh. If you're going to lose, lose. God. Like, lose, lose. bad. Don't lose. don't play on my emotions like, you know, you, you, you have this comeback, you take the lead, and then you just blow it. And then it's like, all right. But I bet y'all had a great flight back home, huh? Fucking God. Yeah. 
They should make y'all ass flow flack. Y'all should flack coach back. <laughs> I bet you won't get any tan crumpets on the flight back, <laughs> bastards. Ah, I love the Bears. I love the Bears, Bears man. So hey, I, hey, I love y'all, so man. So glad I didn't watch this game. Yeah, you you legitimately saved yourself much misery. Yeah, look at us. We still oh, sitting up here like we got like some ties to them. We really don't, but we do. We're real fans. <laughs> Shout out to Norm. Shout out to Norm. For also... Uh, so Norm, happy birthday, <laughs> man. So Norm, yeah, happy birthday, Norm. Norm is not here tonight, but happy birthday because he's celebrating his birthday. Manny, who said you could have pay time off? No, I'm just kidding. We don't pay anybody. We got yet. PTO in this month. <laughs> really? Not yet. I don't need to it talk about my uh, contracts in this. Yeah, one you day better start that early. Yeah, well, we'll go through all of that another time. But uh, Norm, Norm has this thing, Lauren. You're gonna get a kick out of this, okay? Norm plays his girlfriend in Madden on Xbox. Or PS4, I don't know what he uses. <laughs> and he beats the oh, wait, first of all, first of all, Norm Wait, has are a they PS4. in different houses while they're doing PS4? this? No, okay. no, they're playing together in the same house. They play house. together. They, they stream it. They Twitch. Twitch stream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're welcome, Norm. Norm says thanks. You're welcome, Norm. Uh, but he beats the crap out of his girlfriend. But she's getting better. Yeah. But like he would, he had this whole thing where he would play the opposite team and then sort of crush the Bears. But then the Bears would win, and now that's over. So now we don't know what we should tell him to do. <laughs> yeah, it's all fucked up now. Maybe we should go back to him playing as the Bears so he can like just beat that's the snot right. out of her and maybe Bears win it. Win as the Bears. Just win as the Bears. Bears team will win. I can't so wait till she learns and then just whoops his ass. Then, then. we're definitely we're in trouble then, and we're gonna make fun of you too. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Norm, don't lose. Yeah. Don't let us hear about it. <laughs> we will right. make fun of you. All right, well, this was fun. Anyway, the Bears, you're a bunch of jagoffs this week. I'm not happy with you. Do Just better for this next week. week. Yeah. Well, actually, they're on a bye week, so do better in two weeks. You sound like some parents. Yeah. Do better. Do better. Try not to suck. All right. Yeah, try not to suck. Try not to suck. But anyway, that was another uh, jagoff of the week. A bunch of jagoffs. God. Today was and, fun. Uh, yeah, this was fun. We're going we're gonna to wrap this up. Um, I want to give uh, a shout-out to all the C60 crew that are not here. So that's Norm. Manny and Joe, they're all traveling. Cause, uh, that's they, some lucky month. How, how the hell? Wait, how the hell did on all three of y'all Monday. get a on chance to leave night? at the Monday? same time? Wow. I know. I'm wow. just as I'm just as surprised. I don't know how they finagled this. How did they all work they this out? Like, hey, don't tell Ron and Justin. But, yeah. We're not gonna be here. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, yeah. guys. Anyway, but I also want to thank. My co-host, Ron Russell, for being here. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. My and pleasure. A big shout out and thanks to Lauren. Absolutely, Gansaw. Lauren. Thank you, Ladies Lauren. Ladies night. Ladies <laughs> night. <laughs> Ladies night, y'all. And for those of you who are currently watching or if you're listening to this on iTunes, stick around and wait for uh, the next segment, which is Couch Stories. We're going to be interviewing it. Lauren wait here, talking a little it. bit more about her and how she started her new enterprise, oh, and how yeah. she intends to be the next Blue Apron in the next five to ten years, or whatever the fuck her goals are. But we're going to have another quick segment yeah. talking with her <laughs> about it. all kinds yeah, of cool, man. fun things. Yeah, man, all that shit. Also, we have a lightning round for that, so that's always fun. Oh. That's right, we have a Ooh, lightning round. I don't know round. if I'm prepared for that. You won't be, but it's going to be fun <laughs> regardless. So oh. check that out. That'll be coming out uh, later this week. This podcast will yeah. be posted shortly. I'm going to edit this. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> if you liked what you heard tonight, first of all, you need to go follow Lauren Gaspar. Lauren, tell us where they people can follow you. Two places. At L Gaspar. Pretty simple, right? The letter L and then my last name. And you got to follow my business. At Simple Staples Shy. Both on Instagram. Y'all heard that now. On the IG. That's the right. Gram. Workout, the gram. fitness videos and tips, meal prep fitness, you know, all this that stuff. All the health, all the fitness that you need. She knows what the fuck she's talking about. So if you need all those tips, hey, go follow Hey, she knows her. what she's talking about, y'all. Y'all need to go <laughs> ahead and get that information now. And I just go, I just need some barbecue sauce. <laughs> <And that's laughs> hey, you stupid. Hey, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, you know what? I love all that stuff. I just need a little bit more flavor. I just need some sauce. A little more flavoring. So there's that. So go follow Lauren at those two places. And if you liked what you heard from the Chicago 60, first, if you're watching on the live, you're already there. So just go like and follow it. It's Chicago 60, S-I-X-T-Y, the whole word spelled out. Go there, follow, like, because we have all kinds of cool shit going on. If you don't follow us, you're going to miss a bunch of shit. You're going to miss also, shit. Also, 
go to the YouTubes. Because you're not going to get to see the Couch Story segment nope. unless you go to YouTube. Go you're to not going to see Lauren. Oh, my about, God. So you better go you to YouTube, go. you guys. Yeah, go to YouTube. Go. I'm going to be unfriending a lot of you that don't go to YouTube. That's right. So go to YouTube you and hit the sub subscribe button and then the little notification bell. Because we got sketch comedy. We got the Couch Stories. We got the podcast. We got all kinds of shit coming out on there. So if you, you got Justin. It, if you don't you subscribe, you're going to miss. You're going to miss so much shit. Us. We also have... Instagram. And so you can go to at <laughs> Chicago underscore six zero. That's right. the numbers this time. Six and zero. Y'all heard that. Chicago underscore six zero. Follow that because that's going to be that, – that's all behind the scenes stuff, all shirt stuff. That's all a bunch of different stuff. So if you don't follow that, you're not going to see all that shit. And then also, if you're listening to this on iTunes, please leave a five-star review and hit subscribe, God damn it, because obviously we're awesome. Yeah, you, we like, you know you like us. You like what you hear. And everybody uses iTunes to listen to podcasts. So Durr. no excuses. Yeah, help us out. Leave a five-star review. That's so right. We can get up in the Chicago rankings. Because so, we intend to bring you all the news, all the fun, hilarity, greatness, corruption that is the city of Chicago. And introduce you to cool people like Lauren who are running businesses and helping folks. Maybe she's your next you know, trainer. Never Maybe know. she helps you lose that 30 pounds. But you won't know unless you listen to this goddamn podcast. Hey. But you already are, so you're ahead of the curve. Listen to this goddamn podcast, man. Just fucking listen to the podcast. Damn. Listen to us. We're also going to be on Spotify. We have a Patreon account coming out this year. We got a website coming out. There's all kinds of cool shit. We got merch shit. Hey, y'all, look. We independent, so it'll take a little time for us to get our shit going. You know what I'm saying? the end of this year, we are fully, it's like we're, we're a ship. But now all we need is the mast and sail. <laughs> and then we're floating away, baby. That's right. That's that. Come so anyways, away. we need some air. Come sail away. Air. Right. <laughs> Come air. sail away with me. So anyway, there's all that. So go follow us. Go like that. And uh, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much that. So um, thank you again. Thank Lauren, you. Ron for being here. All right. Appreciate y'all. And uh, that's the end of the podcast. So before uh, – uh, before we end before this we podcast, end. we always we just before we on this before, before we end. end. Oh God, there's a little something that we oh. say. A phrase that oh. we use. Oh it's yeah! Our phrase. So that's oh. We always end every podcast with the exact same phrase, and that is bear, bear down, down and fuck, fuck the, the Packers. Packers. <laughs> All right, everybody, that was another episode of the Chicago. <laughs> we shall see you. Next oh. Week.